Now, earlier on, we mentioned that uh, if I have a quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, and such that this quadratic equation has got two roots, such that the two roots are x equals to alpha and x equals to beta. Right? We know the relationship. We discussed about the relationship between the alpha and beta and uh, the a, b, and c. Right? So namely, what we understood so far is that alpha plus beta, which is known as the sum of roots, is equal to negative b over a. And uh, the product of root, which is the alpha times beta, alpha multiplied by beta, is equal to c over a. Okay, so these are the things that we discussed earlier on. Okay, and uh, now what we want to talk about would be um, what if I know the roots of the quadratic equation and how am I going to come back to the uh, equation itself? Okay, meaning to say we get the roots, we got the roots, and we want to find out uh, what is the equation. Now, it's actually not a very difficult exercise. Now, think about it this way if x is equal to alpha, and x equals to beta, meaning to say uh, alpha and beta are the roots of this uh, quadratic equation that we're interested in. Okay, what we understand from uh, what we figure out here earlier on, okay, if we were to take uh, divide throughout by a, we will have x squared plus b over a, x plus c over a equals to zero. All right, now I want you to pay attention to this coefficient of x here and of course the constant term here okay and I want you to understand that this is actually the negative of the sum of roots which is the negative of alpha plus beta and of course needless to say the c over a is simply the product of roots so in other words we can rewrite this formula or this form as negative alpha plus beta x and plus alpha beta equals to zero. So in another words, if I know the sum of the roots and if I know the product of the roots, I will be able to figure out the entire equation originally. Now think about it, it's actually nothing new or nothing too difficult. Basically, it's the same old thing uh, that we discussed here from the first um, video that we discussed earlier on okay it's just that now we are working things backwards okay in short we can think of it almost like a formula such that uh, we can say that um, the formula the equation of any quadratic equation is always given by x squared minus away the sum of roots which is the co which will then become the coefficient of x and the uh, plus the product of roots. Okay, uh, which will give us the constant of the quadratic equation. So all we need is this this number over here and this number over here, which is our alpha plus beta and our alpha multiplied by beta. Okay, now let us take a look at uh, one example that requires the use of something, this knowledge. Alright, now, this example, uh, if alpha and beta are roots of this particular quadratic equation, find the quadratic equation whose roots are this and this and this. So you, you notice the difference between this example and the previous example, example 1, and uh, that is that uh, in this particular example, we are looking for the quadratic equation. Okay, and uh, we are actually given the roots. Okay, so these are the roots, and uh, we're looking for three separate and three different uh, quadratic equations with these roots. Okay, and we're not given the value of alpha and beta, obviously. So we are only given the information that alpha and beta are the roots of this particular, another particular uh, quadratic equation. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at how do we solve a question something uh, something like this, right? So what we understand is that uh, there are two roots alpha and beta from this particular equation. So from here, uh, we know that uh, the the a is our two, uh, the b is our negative four, and the c is our negative three. So from what we can figure out just by looking at this particular um, quadratic equation, we'll know that the sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, is equal to the negative of the negative 4 over 2, uh, Okay, which will give us positive 2. 
right? Since this is actually negative two, and uh, we have negative, negative, it becomes positive, All right? So uh, we also know from what we are given from the first few uh, words here, and that is the product of roots, which is alpha multiplied by beta, is actually equal to the negative three over two, um, which is the C over A. Alright, so this is the information that we know, and now we are interested in to find uh, the, the quadratic equation whose roots are this. Okay, now based on the, the, the discussion that we had earlier on, and that is this, uh, we know that any quadratic equation uh, always looks like this, alright, which is x squared minus away the sum of roots, which will become the coefficient of the x plus the product of roots which will become the constant term. Okay, so all we need to do actually is to find out what is the sum of the roots and what is the product of the roots and uh, we will be able to figure out the quadratic equation. So what we have here from part one is that the, the sum of roots, okay, let's for short we just call it the sum, sum will be simply 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. Okay, now take note this alpha and this beta is the same as this alpha and this beta. Okay, but um, the sum is not 2, okay, because obviously 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta is not quite the same as alpha plus beta, isn't it? So, uh, but they are the same value. So our job here is really to figure out this value, which is my 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, uh, using all the limited information that we have from here. Okay. So let's move on. So sum of roots, which will be sum of um, these two roots, which is 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, will give us, by doing common denominator, we'll have beta plus alpha over alpha beta. And you realize that, hey, this looks rather familiar because um, alpha plus beta, I, I know what's that. That is actually a positive 2. And I know what's alpha multiplied by beta as well, it is actually negative 3 over 2. So using your calculator, or if you want, uh, you can just use a mental sum, uh, it becomes negative 4 over 3, and that is your sum of roots, which will incidentally become the coefficient of x in the equation that we're trying to find. Okay, it's quite complicated, I agree. Alright, so let's move on to find the product of roots. But hopefully by the third example, uh, which is part 2, part 3, uh, you should be able to get the hang of things. Okay, so the product of roots in this sense means uh, 1 over alpha multiplied by 1 over beta. Okay, and going back to your basic algebra days, you should know that uh, this simply becomes 1 over alpha beta, which is uh, 1 over uh, our negative 3 over 2, which will then become negative 2 over 3. Okay, so now that we have the sum, Okay, and we have the product, and we know the formula, all right, to find the equation, the quadratic equation with these two roots, 1 over alpha and 1 over beta, will be simply x squared minus the negative of 4 over 3, x minus 2 over 3 equals to 0. Now, technically, it is actually correct to leave your answer this way, uh, but generally, uh, we will try to make all the coefficient of x, the constants, to become uh, an integer rather than a fraction. So in this case, we'll, what we'll do is we'll multiply throughout by 3, so that gives us the answer of 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals to 0. Okay, so um, here we go. Okay, of course, I, I think you understand why it becomes a positive 4 here. Okay, so this is the answer for part 1, and uh, let's move on to part 2. Part 2, we have uh, the roots being alpha over beta and beta over alpha. So let's move this uh, canvas a little lower so we have more space. Just remember the question is uh, alpha over beta, alpha uh, beta over alpha. Okay, let's move on. Alright, so part 2. So same story, uh, same kind of uh, things we're going to do. First, we're going to find out the sum. The sum of roots, which will be the alpha over beta plus uh, the beta over alpha. So in this case, by doing common denominator again, we actually have alpha square plus beta square over alpha beta. Now, it is not as straightforward as from part one. 
okay uh, because this is actually alpha square plus beta square so we need to figure out how are we going to get this value here and uh, based on something that we discussed earlier on if you can remember recall let me just write on the side here uh, such that the alpha square plus beta square is actually a formula that we can use uh, which is alpha plus beta bracket square minus 2 alpha beta okay so so this was the 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 the, from the previous example, we actually use this quite often. Okay, so we're going to use this again because uh, we what we have is uh, alpha plus beta, which is the value inside this bracket, and we have the product of alpha and beta. So what we have here for the numerator is going to be quite complicated. So uh, alpha plus beta, you come back all the way to two. So it's actually two square minus away two multiplied by the negative three over two. I hope you are following me. Uh, if you're not, you can, you know, just take note that the numerator here is actually this, this, uh, this entire thing here. And alpha plus beta is two, and uh, alpha multiplied by beta is negative three over two. So this forms the numerator for us, which is the alpha square plus beta square, and uh, the denominator is simply negative three over two. Uh -huh. Let's squeeze a little bit here. Okay, and uh, working this out gives us the value of. Uh, let me see negative 14 over 3 okay so negative 14 over 3 let's try to check if it's correct now this is 4 uh, plus 3 okay that gives us a 7 All right so 7 and uh, this is a 2 you multiply it up 7 multiplied 2 gives us 14 so 14 over 3 negative so this is the sum of roots okay so let's move on to the product okay now the product of roots will be alpha over beta multiply by beta over alpha okay and in this case um, this becomes alpha beta over beta alpha uh, which is not too difficult to see uh, that it is actually one so again here we have we have the sum of roots which will then become the coefficient of the x and uh, the product of roots which will then become the constant term that we have so using all this kind of um, things that we have uh, we are gonna we will be able to figure out the equation of this quadratic uh, oh, sorry we'll be able to figure out this quadratic equation okay which will be um, x squared minus away the sum of roots x plus 1 equals to 0 so again what we're going to do is we're going to multiply throughout by 3 and uh, this negative and the negative will become a positive so that gives us answer of 3x squared plus 14x plus 3 equals to 0 and this will be the quadratic equation that we're looking for for part 2 whereby the sum uh, sorry the roots are 1 over alpha and sorry alpha over beta and beta over alpha okay so Let's take a look at part three, which is very much the same uh, kind of question from part one and part two, except um, the, the numbers we get and the level of difficulty of getting the numbers may be a little different. All right, so let us scroll down so that we can find some space. Okay, uh, and for part three, all right, we will be dealing with the two roots being alpha square beta and alpha beta square okay so similarly what we're going to do we're going to find the sum of roots so in this case uh, the sum of root being alpha square beta plus the alpha beta square so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out this value um, here over here which is the alpha square beta plus the alpha beta square using the information here Okay, uh, so, so the limited information that we have, which is alpha plus beta equals to 2 and alpha beta equals to negative 3 over 2. So, how are we going to do that? Okay, so let's try to find out. Uh, from here, what we can do is we can take out the common factor by factorizing out the uh, common factor. Take out the common factor, all right, which is alpha and beta itself. So, take alpha beta, we left with alpha plus beta something like this right and uh, what we do know from all the way from the start is that uh, alpha beta is actually equals to negative 3 over 2 okay and alpha plus beta is equal to 3 uh, sorry 2 so let's input all this information in alpha multiplied by beta is negative 3 over 2 and uh, alpha plus beta is actually 2 okay so 
doing this multiplication gives us the value of negative 3. Okay, so let's move on to the product. Okay, let's find some space here. Alright, the product of roots will then look a bit like this. Alpha, beta, uh, alpha square, beta, multiplied by alpha, beta, square. Which, uh, after you simplify, becomes alpha cube, beta cube. And that is actually the same as alpha, beta, multiplied by alpha, beta, multiplied by alpha, beta. Okay, and uh, it is actually simply negative 3 over 2 cubed, which will still be a negative value, okay, but uh, it will be negative 27 over 8. Okay, so again, now that we have the sum and we have the product, uh, we can easily find out what's the quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation will look a bit like this. x squared minus where the negative 3 becomes the coefficient of x plus uh, the negative 27 over 8 uh, equals to 0. And again, similarly, what we like to do is uh, we always like to multiply throughout by 8 to make every coefficient a positive value. So we have 8x squared uh, plus 8 multiplied by 3. That gives us 24 and minus 27 equals to 0. So this is the final answer for the third part. All right.